now we'll talk about the next question and that is question number third and the question number third is answer the following answer the following now answer the following uh, that means it has got few questions which is in the form of the give reasons or maybe the one line or maybe the descriptive so let's talk about these questions now the question number first is venus is hotter than mercury though it is the father uh, for, sorry though it is further away from the sun uh, like the nearest planet to the sun is mercury the nearest planet to the sun is mercury and so uh, actually the hottest planet should be mercury yes are you getting my point that after sun the first planet which is present is mercury so mercury should be the hottest planet then why mercury is not the hottest planet and the venus venus is the hottest planet so venus is the hottest planet first of all the distance it is very close to the sun but then again the next question is that then mercury is the closer one but as the distance is very close but along with this venus has got lots of active volcanoes on the surface venus has got lots of active volcano on the surface and the second third point is the lot of uh, you know clouds of carbon dioxide is present now we know that the carbon dioxide traps the heat and do not allow it to escape and that is the reason the temperature of the venus uh, get more uh, higher becomes a higher even uh, higher than the mercury so let's talk about the first question the question is venus is hotter than mercury question number 1 venus is hotter than mercury now so mercury is the first planet to the sun it is the closest planet but still the venus is hotter why because now see i won't be writing the complete sentences over here i'll just will be writing the main point the gist of the answer so the mercury venus is the second planet but is still hotter or hottest uh, see again the venus is the second planet now venus is a second planet uh, please mention it clearly from the sun yes so venus is a second planet from the sun but is still hottest as it has got many active volcanoes many active volcanoes and what it has it has and clouds of carbon dioxide which traps the heat which traps the heat and increases the temperature of the surface now we'll come to the next question the question number 2 is the moon is not a star but still it shines we have studied that only the stars shine why the stars shine because of the nuclear reaction which goes on the surface of the star but then why the moon shines so we'll talk about the second question now moon is not a star moon is not a star but 
still it shines still it shines so why does it shine children because the sunlight when the sun's light falls on the surface of the moon it is again reflected by the surface of the moon and due to this reflection it shines isn't it so the sun's light which falls on the moon which falls on the surface of the moon surface of the moon is reflected and thus it shines again a uh, lot of explanation is not given in this answer it is uh, given or well the explanation of this part in the lesson uh, it is written in very short that when the sun's light falls on the surface of the moon it again it, it get reflected as this part we have studied in light uh, the chapter light that why we are able to see the objects because uh, the objects uh, what they do when the light falls on the objects they scatter the light they scatter the light in all the directions they reflect the light in the different directions and these reflected light when falls in our eyes we are able to see the object and that is the reason it shines it becomes bright and now we will move to the next question which is question number 3 and question number 3 is pole star is a uh, pole star appears stationary when seen from the surface of the earth pole star appears stationary when seen from the surface of the earth now again this give reason is for that when we see when we look at the pole star it uh, uh, seems to be stationary and you know the other constellation actually the pole star seems to be stationary and the other constellation seems to be revolving around the pole star so actually pole star represent the geographical north direction it represent the geographical north direction in the sky now uh, actually this pole star is exactly present above the north pole of the rotation of the axis uh, of the earth i mean to say and uh just like here it is just present over here and uh when the earth moves what is happening it is at this point so even when the earth is moving it does not uh moves it it appears that this one is stationary as it is present on the top of the axis of the rotation and the other stars seems to other constellations seems to uh, you know move around the pole star uh that is the reason the pole star appears to be exactly you know uh, stationary because it is situated just above the geographical north uh and the it is also present like we can say that it is present on the nor above the north pole uh, just above the uh, axis of rotation of the earth so let's write the answer and the series is this. so the pole star pole star is situated just directly above 
the geographical north direction on the uh, rotation axis of the earth Uh, pole star is situated just directly above the geographical north direction on the rotation axis of the earth. Again the answer is not written in the complete sentence form, uh, half uh, uh, it is just written the half sentence. So, please frame it properly. So, the thing is that it is present above the geographical north pole of the earth axis, the rotation of the, uh, the axis of the rotation of the earth. That is the reason the pole star appears to be stationary and it seems that the constellations are moving around the pole star. Now, we will talk about the question number 4 children. A shooting star burns completely before reaching the earth surface. Now, that this give reason is that uh, they are talking about a shooting star. Now, we all know shooting stars are what? They are meteors. Actually, they are not stars. They are not at all supposed to be called stars, but the name uh, is uh, kept like shooting stars because, because um, you know, it, even it uh, appears to be like these stars. So, the question is uh, burns completely. Why do they burn? The question is there. If we are talk directly, the question is then it is uh, in the question it is asked that why does these meteors burn when they come on the mm. surface of the uh, in the uh, sorry in the atmosphere of the earth. So, as discussed earlier these meteors when come they are pulled down due to the gravitational pull of the earth. They come down due to gravitational pull of the earth and when they come on the surface of the earth they come across lot of friction due to the presence of the air. Due to this friction the uh, it becomes very light and the lot of heat is produced and uh, this they start uh, shining like a, a star and then they catch fire also and then they get burnt. So, what is the question children a shooting star Uh, shooting star burns completely uh, before reaching the earth surface. So, what is happening? Meteors are pulled down, yes, meteors are pulled down due to gravitational pull. Gravitational pull of the earth I will write put an arrow and just will write in short due to which what is happening lot of heat and light is produced lot of heat and light is produced and then they catches fire. Why actually due to friction, due to friction caused by air. So, lot of friction is uh, created as soon as they enter in the earth's atmosphere and due to this they appear white and lot of heat is also produced and they appear light and then they catch fire and they start burning. So, this is about the meteors 
and uh, now we'll talk about the next question till now we have discussed the four four questions and now we'll be discussing the next one uh, so please note these points so that we can move to the next question now now we'll talk about the next question and that is question number 5 now although moon is a natural satellite but still it cannot be used for communication purpose uh now uh, we all know that the natural satellite are known as moon and obviously the moon our moon is natural satellite but then why that means the question is when we have our satellite when earth has got its satellite then why the earth satellite that means moon cannot be used as you know uh, uh, the mean to provide the information why this need to send the artificial satellites and can we use the moon as uh, one of the you know uh, as we are using the artificial satellites but children this is not possible we cannot use moon as we are using the uh, artificial satellites why we cannot use first of all the distance the distance is uh, more the distance between the earth and the moon is more and uh, you know the artificial satellites which are sent in the space the orbit is small they 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 revolve around the earth from a very close distance you know there is not a, a much distance between the satellite and the earth so the closer observer uh, the close observation can be taken things can be studied in a better way so this is the first point that the orbit of the moon is bigger where is the orbit of these uh, artificial satellites is smaller that means they move they revolve around the earth in the uh, closer in the from the close distance now what will happen if the distance is more let it be but no if the distance is more as in the case of the moon the orbit is longer the distance is more so the signal the signals get delayed the signals get delayed as well as the signals become weak also and uh, this is the reason that we cannot use and you know one more thing is that the position of the moon is not always same it keeps on changing you know the position of the moon is getting changed and due to this also uh, the regular uh, signals cannot be uh, you know uh, sent to the surface of the earth one part will be getting the signals and the other part won't be getting so there will be hours of delay you know uh, there will be no signals so there will be no use of all such kind of making the station over there uh, so all these are the points there can be more points there can be many more points but these were the main points which i want you to discuss so what is the question number now the question number is fifth and the question number fifth is although moon is a natural satellite although the moon is a natural satellite it cannot be used it can't be used for communication purpose now again i'll be writing the gist of the answers first of all the distance is more distance is more orbit is bigger and so because of this what will happen the signals will become weak signals will get delayed
and weak. So uh, these all are the points and one more point I would like to write over here that the position of the moon changes of the moon the position of the moon changes. Now need to be elaborated that the position of the moon changes and how the one side of the because we are not able to see every time and how it can affect the signals and th this is the reason that we need to have artificial satellites. Artificial satellites are very very helpful for us in many different ways and we cannot use our natural satellite uh, that is moon uh, for all these purposes as the distance is more orbit is bigger. So, signals get delayed by 2.7 seconds you know uh, again like uh, to send the signals from here and again the signals will come back from there. So, it will become it will take more time the distance uh, is higher and so uh, the signals will get delayed as well as weaker signals will be formed and the position of the moon also changes and that is the reason we cannot use the moon as the uh, as we are using other artificial satellites for the communication purpose. Now, we will talk about the next question that is question number 6 and the question number 6 is can you light fire on moon? We all know for fire we need oxygen for combustion we need oxygen oxygen and we all know that there is no atmosphere on the surface of the moon and then definitely we cannot let the fire we cannot have fire on the surface of the moon. Apart from this there are many uh, things you know many things uh, told by few scientists like that the uh, heat of the sun can be uh, used to you know to burn the things and all this things are there. But you know if we talk about the natural the fire which as we are burning things over here in this way we cannot burn the things on the moon by uh, in absence of oxygen yes. So, uh, the question is can we can we uh, what it is light fire on moon. So, we cannot as the atmosphere is not there no as atmosphere is not there and what is absent oxygen is absent I am writing in short very very short. So, in absence of oxygen fire can't be lit. So, as oxygen is not there we all know that for combustion for burning anything we need to have oxygen and in absence of oxygen we cannot burn the things yes. Now, we will move to the next question children that is the question number 7 and the question number 7 is uh, stars produces large amount of heat and light stars produces stars produces large amount of heat and light. Uh, again I give reason that why do the stars produces large amount of heat and light. The surface of the star uh, what is present at the surface of the star lot of hydrogen is there and as we have discussed about the sun same is the case with the stars also these uh, hydrogen atoms they you know in one second millions of hydrogen they combine to form helium and that means the nuclear reaction takes place and in this nuclear reaction lot of light is produced because heat is produced. 
lot of heat and light is produced so same happens with the other stars also as we have discussed about the sun there is no difference between them because the sun is also a star and the definitely we are talking about the other stars also so what is happening stars has the surface of the star okay the surface of stars the surface of stars have lot of hydrogen i am writing in arrows only they combine to form combine to form helium and in this nuclear reactions in this nuclear reactions lot of heat and heat and light is produced lot of heat and light is produced lot of heat and light is produced so that is the reason why the stars produces lot of heat and light because the surface is full of hydrogen and this hydrogen keeps on combining with the heat, you know in uh, 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 together uh, hydrogen atoms combines together to form helium and this process lot of heat is produced and this keeps on you know it is a continuous continuous process and uh, millions of uh, hydrogen combines to form helium and so such a huge amount of heat and light is produced now we will move to the next question now the question number 8 will talk about now the question is why do the stars twinkle so the question is why do the stars twinkle okay so the stars twinkle because the heat and light is produced over there now when this light travels when this you know light travels it passes through the various layers of the atmosphere now the same, if one looks uh, the stars from the surface of the moon uh, it is uh, from there it won't be twinkling the twinkling of stars won't be visible why because on the surface of the moon the atmosphere is not there but on the surface of the earth the atmosphere is there and when the light reaches when the when the light reaches to the surface of the earth this light passes through the different layers of the atmosphere of different different density light passes through the different layers of different density and so the refraction takes place we have learned refraction nicely in the chapter light so i did not have to explain over here that what is the meaning of refraction uh so due to this the stars appears to be you no know, they twinkle they we, we feel that the stars are twinkling so what actually is happening the uh stars are the uh sir, the you know, stars are what at the stars a lot of uh, uh, heat and light is produced and when the light reaches the surface of the earth it has to pass through different density different layers of the atmosphere of different densities and so the light ref, the go undergoes refraction yes so uh, why do the stars twinkle like the stars light i will again write in the just only just while making the arrows so stars light passes through different layers of atmosphere different layers of atmosphere of different densities and so undergo refraction and then complete the sentence and thus uh, the stars appears to be twinkling now this is the 
eighth question and this was the last question of this chapter the stars uh, or the solar system and the stars and the solar system uh, the chapter can be given in the uh, different books with a different name and even it is possible that in different lectures I have written the name uh, of the lecture in a different way you know maybe there sometimes I have written the stars in the solar system sometimes only solar system so the, con the, the chapter remains the same that is solar system now the, the extra questions we have discussed over here few extra questions we have discussed uh, we have discussed first of all choose the correct answer then fill in the blanks and a few give reasons we have discussed hope uh, these uh, questions will be very helpful helpful for you all uh, thank you very much